Hey guys, how's it going? It's Clarissa with That Dumb Movie Show, and today's film is Pirates of the Caribbean 5 Dead Men Tell No Tales, or Salazar's Revenge if you're in the UK. Yes, I know, there's a new Pirates of the Caribbean film. I'm, I'm not lying, there is. I, yeah, I know. It's news to me too. The reason why Disney can seemingly release Pirates of the Caribbean movies at random intervals is, and I don't know if this is a good thing or a nightmare, but I think they've managed to crack the formula on this. I think there is now a fail-safe formula for making these movies. You've got your Captain Jack Sparrow versus supernatural evil Captain Guy. In this case, it's Javier Bardem's Captain Salazar, who him and his crew got trapped in the Devil's Triangle and now they're all weird, decaying ghost people who are super mad at Jack Sparrow for that. Add to that, you get a very attractive boy and you get a very attractive girl who are some variation on Orlando Bloom and Kira Knightley in in the fourth film, it was Sam Claflin and Astrid Belge Frisbee. In this film, it's Brenton Thwaites and Kaya Scott Olario. All four of those names are kind of interchangeable, but basically those two fall in love while Jack Sparrow sniped at them and bingo, you've got a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I mean, this might be the new James Bond because I could see them making these films forever. I think the formula kind of works. Which made for a weird and confusing cinematic experience for me because so much of Dead Men Tell No Tales is lazy to its core, but because of this fail-safe formula, I, and I don't know how else to put this, but I at least had the illusion of being entertained. I was somehow bored and thrilled at the very same time and I don't know if I can recommend that experience, it kind of hurt my brain a little. That said, there's a couple of new elements in this film which I did really appreciate, primarily amongst them the idea to cast Javier Bardem who is just living, he is just having the time of his life in this movie and he somehow made a character who has no jokes in the script the funniest character in the entire film. Just every single line here is delivered perfectly. And you know what, this movie is pretty funny. There's some really decent jokes in there and I think that is maybe what makes me hesitate the most over whether this film is truly bad or not. And I really enjoyed the direction as well from Joachim Running and Espen Sandberg who did Contiki. I think they brought a little bit of a new dynamic to it. There's quite a lot of use of, I guess it's like GoPro footage, um, which was just really fun. It's a fun way to shoot a Pirates of the Caribbean film. So in that sense, this film is a pretty great showcase of how to mix up stuff that feels fresh and stuff that feels familiar. but. What really, really lets this movie down is that there are just a few narrative decisions that are just particularly stupid. And I don't really want to say what they are because they are quite spoilery, but just think like franchise and ideas that are trying to tie all the movies together and also look to the future. I mean, he's been in the trailers a lot, so I guess I can talk about this, but Orlando Bloom does return in this film as Will Turner and he just looks beyond bored. He just does not want to be there. He's like, guys, come on, I gotta go. I gotta go do things to Katy Perry. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Which, yeah, the other thing that really lets this film down is the performances. Everyone here just looks so bored, apart from Javier Bardem, and also uh, David Wenham, you know, Faramir from Lord of the Rings, who they cast and then violently underused, and that made me so mad. Obviously, with Johnny Depp, there have been many allegations and a lot going on off camera, and I'm sure, you know, depending on your perspective on it, it may, you know, change how you perceive this film and how you perceive his performance. I think, overall, it was kind of more of the same, but just a little bit more tired, but it's the same with everybody, everyone just seems a little bit more tired in this movie. And then, particularly I think, the new cast, uh, Kai Scarlario and Brenton Thwaites, I was just surprised by how absolutely leaden they were. I don't know what happened, but their performances, they just seem dead inside. I mean, I thought on paper their characters seemed kind of fun, but on screen they're so dry and I don't really know Brenton Thwaites, but I do remember Kaya Scalario from Skins and I don't remember her being that bad, so I don't, I don't know what happened, but 
Oof. So yeah, I'm sorry if I sound like I have really conflicted thoughts on this because I do. I, as I said before, I was somehow bored and entertained at the very same time and all I can think is that this film is a very good formula done badly and to be honest that's kind of how I felt about the fourth film but I think this one does it to a more extreme degree so I guess I wouldn't recommend it particularly unless you're like a huge Pirates of the Caribbean fan. Uh, yeah, I'd probably give this one a skip. But if you've had a chance to see Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tell No Tales, or Salazar's Revenge, I would love to know what you guys thought. You can let me know down in the comments below, or you can hit me up on Twitter, details down in that description box. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can hang out and talk about movies. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!